But starting things off, a man who's starring in a Christmas show this year, Marty Maguire, how are you? I'm very well, Robin. A Christmas station once again. A yes, Christmas station once again. It's back again. It was yeah. such a success the first time around, wasn't yeah. it? That you had to bring it back with a Christmas flavour this time. Well, we did it for the 30th anniversary of the Fiel on Fobble, the Festival of the People. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, the 30th year. Um, during the summer, the anniversary, and it was an absolute success. It took us all by surprise. We knew we had a great story, but the feedback was unbelievable. The word of mouth, which in small theatre can be your best friend or your worst enemy, it started to spread like wildfire. For people who haven't seen the show, give us a bit of background. What's it about and what's your character well, doing? Well, it's my, my, my partner, Joe Donnelly, the wonderful actress who's my real life partner. Uh, it's, it's, it's her and me. Uh, we play Fra and Brady, who are caught in between uh, hell and heaven. And we get one more chance to do a final broadcast on Triple FM to see if we get our if our ratings are good enough to either go to heaven or go to hell. <laughs> That's the premise. So we said, well what do we do? So we start to reminisce about where the festival started and what it's become. You know, from small oaks grow uh, from little acorns grow mighty oaks. Mm -hmm. And that, then we start to tell the story from the start. And then we are behind the microphones which you're no stranger to exactly, yourself. Yeah. And as soon as we start to reminisce, then we pop up and we become all the other characters. So between the two of us, we play over 50 different characters throughout the two hours. We have a great time and our director, Tony Devlin, uh, has taken this, um, uh, Fergal Enright and Michael Pierce have compiled a book and we've taken like f this much and scaled it down into a two hour piece because each, if we did everything in every body, uh, you'd have a 12-hour play. You of know? course, yeah, so, yeah. But it's been lovely that people who are related to or are mentioned in the play have come up afterwards and said, I can't believe you did my grandfather justice. My grandmother would be so proud. It's like saying to Joe, a woman who she's never met, said, you'd swear our Brady spit you out. You know, and we're going, but thank you. We're not trying to impersonate these people, just the representation of the essence of just these people that try to do something good from from you know times were tough and there's a lovely line it's in one of the darkest years of the conflict it was like a glint of light and it was a glint of hope uh, that you know on the streets instead of riot and instead of you know the bombs and the bullets and barricades and bonfires there was a festival music yeah. and poetry and theater and dance and children playing on the street without hopefully fear of anything, any harm coming to them. I know you've done the first few shows already. It opens in the Balmoral Hotel tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, the 18th, 18th to the 23rd, yeah. yes. And the, the, book, the bookings are going great. It's a great venue. This is the Brassnack Theatre Company's fourth year in a row doing the Christmas show at the Balmoral under the direction of Tony Devlin and uh, Alison McCrudden, who's our, one of the main producers with the company, um, artistic director of the company. And uh, so it's a, it's a great combo. And the, the, the tickets are starting to book really well, so I encourage people to come and say, have a laugh. Yeah. Just let your hair down and just have a laugh because that's, you're guaranteed that that's going to happen. So when you finish on the 23rd, is that you off for Christmas then for a while? We're or? off for a week and then we come back again. We still have a few unconfirmed uh, dates to fulfil, uh, but they're, they're booking up. So we're going to finish at the end of of uh, December, but there's already hopefully talk of, uh, there's interest from New York because okay. we did the show in Coal Island and we worried that, uh, would it be just a West Belfast thing or just a Belfast thing? And then we went to Coal Island and we got a stand ovation and people said, we didn't know any of those people, we weren't familiar with the majority of the story, but we didn't care yeah. because it's a fantastic story. This little tiny, you know, acorn to mighty oaks story. And it's, it's very, it's very, it's very sort of uh, life affirming. It's it's great to see what can be done if you put your mind to it and forget all the other nonsense and just go, look, there's fun to be had. There's creativity to, to be achieved here. And that's what so many people do every year, year for 30 years. And this is a lovely way to finish off that 30th year was having a Christmas station once again. And the last time I saw you on stage was at the Grand Opera House in um, Angela's Ashes, oh, yes. which uh, was one of the big surprises for me. It was one of the best shows I think I've ever seen in the Grand Opera oh, House. Thank you. And um, hopefully, and I'm hearing whispers that it may be coming back at some stage well, as well. Well, we've all kept our fingers crossed since we did it, because again, a lot of people said, Angela's Ashes, the museum, mm -hmm. you're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> How can you turn that book and that movie? And well, they sort of forgot about the film version. And the director, a guy called Tom Sutherland, and with uh, Pat Moylan Production Company in Dublin, they came up with this uh, beautiful concept, and the music was stunning. Yeah. 
And again, humor and yeah. Irish finding the humor in the darkness, which the book has tons of. So they focused a lot more on that than the, the drudgery and the, depre and the dep depressing stuff. And I got to play the father who was from Tomb. It was a, a nice, nice one for the, for the CV. Great company of people. And with the, there are a few whispers that hopefully, hopefully next year it'll, it'll come back. Because everywhere we played wants to have it back. It's yeah. just, you know, with producers, they need to come up and have it financed. And again, word of mouth was fantastic that uh, you got to go and see this if you love musical theatre and a fantastic story and an Irish story. Yeah. yeah so. Good stuff. Well, hopefully it does come back. And of course, the other show, they have to say, opens uh, tomorrow night, the 18th yep. of December. A Christmas station once again at the Balmoral Hotel on Black Road. And if you look up the Balmoral Hotel, all the information is on their website and you can book tickets through, through there. Brilliant stuff. Well, Marty, have a great Christmas. Robin, thank you thank very much. Thank you so us. much for having us.